All right, I thought I'd shoot a video on some of the brushes I'm using and some of the brushes I have used and I don't care for. Not a very, a super comprehensive video. Just a video on some of the stuff. This isn't by any means all my brushes, but these brushes right here, let me grab these ones. These are the ones I just grabbed because I'm like, these are the brushes that I'm always using right now. And I'm sure, you know, over time th you change what brushes you're using, but I would say over the last six months, these are my main brushes that are always sitting right where I'm working. And these are the ones I'm always grabbing. So I just pulled these out. Basically I have three types of brushes, two or, or three or four. So I have my, my big brushes that obviously this is a, a monster brush here. This is when I'm doing uh, like diorama backgrounds. I'm painting a, uh, a, a big area like I don't have something to grab here, but uh, you know, like if I'm doing a, a little mountain train thing or something, I'm putting a base coat on it. That's what I'm using this for, obviously, because it's so big. I also actually use this for dusting off my die cast stuff. <laughs> so it's a dual purpose. When I have some dusty cars or something, and I, I'll use this for brushing it off. But I've had, I've had these green, I've had the green ones. They are, Blumenthal brand. I was trying to read through the paint on there. I've had these for years and years and years and I've just used the heck out of them. And look how nice those bristles are. They're st they, the bristles have just held up great. And that's the biggest thing to me. And, and I paint for a living. I do log homes, painting and staining and si other painting too. But a good brush to me is over time how the bristles hold up. So these Blumenthal brushes have been amazing they've been i've been real super happy and i don't think they're a high-end brush i think i got these like at walmart or joanne fabrics or something so probably none of these are like your top of the line brushes but the bristles have just held up amazing over a long period of time so but back to what i was saying so i have basically your big brushes you've got your more in between brushes which is like this and for doing like your primering and stuff like that and then you get you get into your detail brushes super fine point so that's kind of my stuff i have here these ones here i actually had bought i'm always picking up cheap brushes that are kind of more of a throwaway brush for when i'm using like say on uh, diorama stuff where i'm mixing paint and pva glue and paint together and stuff those brushes you don't want to use a good brush on that so I had a bunch of these that I had gotten. I think these come like in a 12 or 24 packet from Walmart. They're like in the kids craft section. And these actually, I've been real surprised. These are kind of one of my go-to brushes. And I've had these ones for, I mean, several years at least. And they look how the bristles are holding up. It's crazy. Cheap brushes. I use these for undercoating or like on this horse, stuff like this. When I need to just do that initial coat of paint, if I'm not using a brush, I haven't really been using my airbrush a lot because I'm not set up, I don't have it set up where I can just use it easily. So when I'm just want to put a quick coat on an undercoat, this is what I'm using. And this, these work great for that. Or like on something like this, you know, I want to put that, that first coat on. I'm just trying to get it on. This is what I'm using, they work great. The, then, you know, then I go to been my next go to then for my next layers of stuff, getting a little bit more detailed are these Blumenthal brushes because you I have them in all the different sizes. And these have been amazing, held up really well over the years. And then now I have not held, used these as long. These are Atlas. Let's see if I can get that in the view there. I got these, uh, these come from scalehobby.com, scale hobbyist. I'll put the thing here. I'll put a description right there. Scale, a scale hobbyist, I think is what it is, but these are like, they're not super expensive. They're like a buck 50 or two bucks each, but I've been using these ones for maybe a month. And so far I've been real impressed with how they held, held up. And my son used these Atlas brushes and he was happy with them. But the bristles have held up real good and the I've, just for detail work I'm, I'm really these are going to be my new go-to brush i think i'm going to be definitely buying some more of these so might want to check these atlas brushes out 
especially for the detailing and they do make all the different sizes like these of course they have big ones too the other thing i like about these atlas brushes is they're shorter if you can see that and they're fat a fatter brush so i kind of like that that's a personal preference that i've noticed i like that better better than these and the one thing with these longer brushes so when i'm especially when i'm using these small ones i'm doing a lot of detail you know and i'm and i'm always using my this thing's gonna squeak i'm always using this this is what i'm usually doing detail work under i'm looking through through this and so my brush is under here and with the longer brushes i'm always bumping this thing so with these shorter ones i find i can work under here easier not always be hitting this whereas these longer ones that you know it was a little bit not it's not a big deal but a lot of times i'd be like oh i'm hitting that you know so the shorter brushes that's a plus to me something that i've found i can't make that thing not squeak so sorry i've oiled it and it still squeaks so anyway that's my go-to brushes if that is helpful for anybody like beginner people trying to figure out what brushes to start and give a try the ones i'll say i have not been happy with are these ones over here these American Painter is what this one is. And it did not take, it started out real good. And I mean, it didn't take very long at all. And that was, that look at the tip is just spread out. Splay, I call it splaying out or whatever. It did not stay good. Neither did this one. This is a Lowell, low Cornell. And it did not take any time at all. This was, you know, I don't know if you can see that because it's a super detailed brush. And I want, and I mean, it didn't take any time at all. And I haven't, when I wash these, I treat these the same as I did these, these other ones. So, I mean, it's not like I'm doing anything different with cleaning them or storing them or anything. These, the red ones, this is a, a P-L-A-I-D, played look at the look at it it just the tip the the, br the bristles just spread out that's the brand name let's see see hopefully that'll show up i can't tell if this is showing up i'm gonna try to put that there for you to see the brand name all of them it all they all didn't take hardly any time and the bristles were spread now and then that basically becomes a useless detail brush really um so these i have these uh here i haven't used a lot a lot i've had them for a while west water i've been pretty happy with these but i can't give a long-term review these bristles seem to be holding up real good after using them and washing them and These ones so far have been good for me, but I, like I said, I haven't used them for a long time, several months. So the other thing I have, you know, I, this is what I buy the cheap brushes for. I have these sitting here. I usually like these uh, ones I said I got at Walmart, these cheap ones that I actually now have become not throwaway brushes to me. I usually buy them for, I purposely will mess the, br the bristles on these up for detailing the matchbox and putting dirt on them and getting an effect look to them so that's what i buy the cheap brushes for sometimes so i can mess them up a little bit to get them the bristles a certain way to do some detailing so anyway i hope that helps anybody that's a beginner getting going in this stuff definitely would highly highly recommend these atlas brushes they're just, I'm just like, I'm thrilled with these things, man. It, it makes uh, doing all my detail work. Like when you're, when you're painting inside this little track, you know, something like that, and you're trying to do these. I mean, man, it, these things just make this work so much easier. I can't, I can't recommend those enough so far. And in the same thing with these, I have detail brushes with, with these uh, Blumenthal ones that were good. But really the Blumenthal ones, I just didn't like as much as these Atlas ones, so... Anyway, I hope that helps, and I'll see you on the next video, guys. And also, thanks for all the people subscribing and uh, liking my videos and commenting. I love seeing comments. And uh, thanks for the subscribes. So we'll talk to you guys later.